With progress comes change. As the Philippine economy continues to grow, the need for an efficient inter-island transport system is crucial more than ever to facilitate business, agriculture, and tourism. Christopher S. Pastrana, Chief Executive Officer of Archipelago Philippine Ferries Corporation, also known as FastCat, saw a way to contribute to the industry and to the improvement of inter-island connectivity in general. It's high time for a modernization program. We have a growing economy, we have a good regional growth, but there is a need to improve the transportation industry and to provide links to outlying areas. We saw the need to help the industry through innovation. I tried to look for a vessel that would be more suitable to the Philippine market and would offer the safety, comfort, and convenience every Filipino so deserves. Together with its bus partners, Jam and Filtranco, FastCat has taken major initiatives to ensure seamless, efficient, and convenient archipelago-wide bus cum ferry operations. In 2010, FastCat took on a bold move to modernize its fleet of vessels. It invested in 30 brand new catamaran roll-on, roll-off ferries crafted for the Philippines' unique weather and sea conditions. The company collaborated with reliable international designers, shipbuilders, and suppliers to bring this huge undertaking to realization. This new vessel initiative is in keeping with Mr. Pastrana's resolve to raise the bar and be a game changer, transforming not only the maritime industry in the Philippines, but also enhancing overall passenger experience. Similarly, FastCat's affiliates made key enhancements to their network of buses. Jam and Filtranco President Dennis C. Trajano believes that continuous modernization is fundamental to ensuring the safety and convenience of passengers. We continue to upgrade our buses to provide a safe and enjoyable experience to passengers. We will work tirelessly to serve the Filipinos and ensure their satisfaction. With JAM, Filtranco, and FastCat synchronized ticketing system and aligned trip schedules, seamless connectivity is ensured. Not to mention passengers and goods can now be transported efficiently from their point of origin to their point of destination. Delays are minimized and waiting and travel time are reduced. Upgrades were also made to the ports and passenger terminals managed by their affiliates. As part of their steps towards modernization, the Alliance initiated a series of trainings and workshops for their crew and staff to stay abreast of industry trends and comply with international safety standards. In addition, tie-ups with major schools are being carried out to further provide unparalleled service. These efforts have earned the group recognition and statement of support from various local government units for their significant contribution to the modernization of the transportation industry. While the Alliance has had a positive impact in terms of agriculture, tourism, transfer of fast-moving consumer goods, and regional growth and development, their mission is far from over. For Marianne I. Pastrana, Executive Vice President and Treasurer of FastCat, providing the Filipinos the best is of great importance. We believe that the Filipinos deserve a better option, and we aim high. We are continuously making strides to cater to customer needs, uplift the lives of the Filipinos, and contribute to nation building. In fact, the group has laid out several plans. These include the building of budget hotels in areas where it operates, called By the Sea. These hotels will accommodate travelers and serve as a training venue for seafarers. Additionally, the trio has tie-ups with Phil Hotels Group in different parts of the country. Furthermore, 
the Alliance also targets to have a total fleet of 1,000 buses in the years to come. And construction of a ship repair facility in Mindoro is in the pipeline as well. To be a truly comprehensive transportation solutions provider, the group also offers manning, recruitment, cargo logistics, port management, and other allied services. Under the administration of President Rodrigo Duterte, whose one of the main thrusts is to improve transportation infrastructure and inter-island linkage, the Alliance is optimistic about the many opportunities in which they can contribute to the Philippines' economic development. More than ever, they would like to continue strategic partnerships with professional, reputable, and trusted companies with a dynamic and pro-people environment.